Hello, hello everyone. Welcome back to Let's Play Dead Space. Time for chapter two. <laughs> I like it. Ah, yes. One of the most useful abilities in the game. For example, we can knock her block out. God damn it. Oh, okay. Well. <laughs> Oh, it's already started. Okay, there we go. There's a lot of maggots still on the floor here. Ew. Hmm. Body bags. Alright. Let's continue on. Ah, these blue things are actually... I said blue things, not body bag, is actually a schematic. schematic. To add items to the store. We're gonna find a lot of these. It's the flamethrower, which we're definitely not going to end up buying, but I am going back to the shop to activate it. Having the, uh, the, the, the schematics actually take up a slot in your inventory and they only disappear when you enter a shop. All visitors must sign in at the security kiosk. Okay. Isaac, are you there? We were attacked. Kendra's gone. One minute she was there, and I, I can't believe I lost her. We can still do this. Get me the captain's rig codes and we'll find Nicole. Looks like the crew barricaded the door to the emergency wing. We have to blow through it to get to the morgue. Get some thermite from medical storage and a shock pad from zero G therapy. Should be down the corridor. <laughs> Communication is useless in all this static. Detours. Please remember to feed. Uh, feed what? Myself? Money! We'll take those. We take those at the bank. For some reason, whenever you approach one of these boxes, they always make a small jump. <laughs> so many flies. Ooh, we got some more plasma ammo. Sweet. All right, we got we got some more space uh, for stuff. Great. Yes, I know. Which we're very readily gonna use because most of the weapons are shit in the secondary fire mode. Oh boy. Uh, let me get more stasis. We can make it. We can make it. I told you we could make it. Please check yourself for contaminants. Okay. I can see a lot of boxes for hypodermic needles. It's gonna be great. Lockdown. Ugh. Let's 
put some mines. Hello, hi there, how are you? Looks like he had to split. This is a female slasher, and they will actually puke on you as well. Looks like I fucked up with the mines, I did not know they were... I thought they were timed for when people got close to them. Not with, uh... Wait, where'd he go? Ah, oh, hi. Or where'd she go, rather? Greetings! Yes, line them up. I should be less of them. Hold up. I can still hear more of them. They're probably on the bottom floor. Ooh. Oh man, that's a lot of gas. Uh, where is he? He has to be on the left there in the back. Mm -hmm. Is this one of those surprise fuck you with elevators? I can see him on the right there. Looks like he's only half a necromobile. Come to Papa. I'd say I'm not gonna hurt you, but that's a blatant lie. And there's a Stracy's module on the left here. Hello, Mario. That's not Mario. Uh, that isn't either. Uh, there's one in the vent. Let's get up here. See you guys. Bye. Haha. <laughs> Got him. What is with the extremely loud music though this guy has mechanical pants we are not gonna shoot him in the pants because that's gonna do fuck all uh... alright this is a normal one should be the last one right? no? Oh yeah, yeah, there's still the guy in the back. The guy who was uh, in the toilet, or what? I don't know what that is. It probably, probably is a toilet, knowing this game. Ah, uh, here we go. I'm not gonna waste any ammo on you. Ah, there we go. Much better. More ammo. I'll take them. <laughs> Ooh, lockers. Loot, loot, loot. At first, we're not going to really use our newly obtained by buying it weapon. But we will get to those. Don't stay here. I can hardly fucking read that shit. If I don't make it, take care of the kids for me. I love you. Starbucks. Ah, uh, that said something in Japanese about someone died. Oh, that is some bitch with fast, fat hips. Did you see, guys? Uh, I don't like the atmosphere of that place, so we're not going there. my weapon by reloading we also you know make some more space in our inventory inventory to pick up more fat loops at least the box didn't jump this time that is way too small for me to read
Did we check the toilet already? I finally convinced Jurgens to show me the video feed from the colony. And what I saw was glorious. Breathtaking. Miners undergoing a transformation into something extraordinary. I must know more. Even as the believer within me wants to become one of them, the scientist needs to uncover their secrets. I need to study one of these necromorphs, as Kind so clinically puts it. I need to witness this infection firsthand. Perhaps that patient from the colony. Patient from the colony. Yes, I'm sure that guy won't be one of the main antagonists. With him being super interested in walking corpses. I like how we can still hear that door upstairs. What in God's name is going on down there? I think that's precisely the point, Doctor. God's work. I'm not so sure of that. We have to assume that the colony's problems are somehow connected to the marker. You can assume all you want to. I do not. The marker is glorious and divine. You... you know that. God moves in mysterious ways. Anyway, we'll have it on board tomorrow. You can analyze it all you want to. What are you so worried about? Worried? Captain, people are dying down there, killing each other. Is this madness the transformation unitology teaches us? Doctor. Terence. There will always be risk when the stakes are high. And here, they're enormous. It could change everything. And that's what worries me. Foreshadowing. Right, so it looks like we can move this bookcase without nearly obtain power. So let's do that. Ooh, gold semiconductor. Sweet. Dr. Kine T, Chief Science Officer. The vid logs from the colony are poor quality, but the artifact does, impe does indeed appear to be a genuine marker, the first to be found in Unitology's 200 year history. I'm eager to get it on board the ship so I can study it properly. The potential here is enormous, not just for me personally, though it is true, I've dreamed of such discovery for decades, but also to humanity, and the Church of Unitology in particular. This marker could herald the dawn of a new age for mankind, and I will do my part to ensure it comes to pass. I know the church will be grateful, but the true recognition will come from all of humanity. On this day, we are blessed. Ah yes, Unitology. I wonder if it has anything in common with Scientology. I'm eating candy by the way, because I'm, I'm that cool guy. All right, time to step into the weird glowy green bit of the level. Why is it green? Hey, hi. Let me give you a hand. Uh. Okay. That looked slightly uncomfortable. Hello? Anybody? Okay. I fucking hate children. We destroyed him though. That's fine. Here. Ah, there's some more plasma armor. Jeez. What the fuck is all this? Weird baby noises. Spooky, scary. 
spooky scary skeleton. Is anybody there? Come up, come up wherever you are. Ah yes, these stupid fucks can climb on the wall. Not when they're dead. There we go. Uh, so this would be a good time to address what these guys are called. They're called. They're called lurkers. Are you going to die? I guess he was already dead. They're called lurkers, and they can run on walls. And they they are made when a necromorph infects a baby. Isn't that great? Well, I mean, it's great because then there's little of, you know, there's less of these small fucks around. So that's fine. If I could, I could fucking shoot all of them and kill all the babies. Why are we keeping the babies alive? The ship is going to be doomed this way anyway. Well, I guess if we would, if we would kill the babies, it would be easier for the necromorphs to have more, right? Uh... Okay, I didn't mean to pick that right. up. That thermite you picked up should be able to melt through the barricade. Use the shock pad to ignite it. Hope I can hold this position. I can hear something big moving out there. Mm. I could go back down for more stasis, but there's, you know, there's stasis just behind the door anyway, so. What the fuck? Oh, it's a guy with metal pants. And a woman! Uh, okay. <laughs> so, what happened was, when she shot the ball, the spitball I was talking about earlier, I actually must have shot it, which caused an explosion. So, I'd say we got pretty lucky there, and I happened to be shooting her head like a noob. Great! Fuck you. Mm, let's have state. Okay, and I think it might be time to go to the store. And we're on our merry way to the imagining, imagining the diagnostic, whatever. What is that noise? Someone, someone playing basketball? Sir? I would last, uh, like to ask for directions. <laughs> did you see the split he did at the end? I guess you could say he had a splitting headache. Rest in peace, guy. Elevated radiation levels. Well, we're wearing a suit. It's, uh, it's, it's gonna be cool. What? Oh, it's just a lurker. These are uh, power node doors. It's almost always worth it to use a power node to unlock them, which is what we're gonna do for the entire game. We're always gonna open these doors because most of the time there's a real good shit to get. You found the 
found something down there, didn't you? Yes. We found something. So the texts were right all this time. I wouldn't be certain of that. There was nothing divine in what I saw. We must embrace this. We are the first witnesses. Matthias isn't letting anyone down in the colony. It's under quarantine until we learn more. To hell with Matthias. He of all people should know that this is greater than him, or the operation, or even the company. This is our deliverance. Keep your damn voice down. People are dying down there. Only the worthless and the unbelievers. But I believe. Do you believe, Terrence? Do you? Uh, you're not creepy at all. Ah, oh, we got a bench here. I oh, know. I, I wonder what they're doing with that. But is that like making a scan? I guess since this is diagnostic, so that's why there's elevated radiation levels. Greetings. I hear you. Come at me, bro. Uh. I said to met me bro, not bros. Whoa, what a jump. So that's why they're called leapers. Our pulse rifle isn't too powerful yet, but that's gonna change. It's gonna change soon. Right. I think the pulse rifle is actually the first weapon we're going to be trying to upgrade completely because it's just damn that damn good. Jeez. Had a bad case of the munchies. Ooh, pulse rounds. We can now buy pulse ammo. And power note. Sweet. Which turned out to be a trap. Alright. That was an easy kill. I like it. These are power cells. We're going to see this mechanic a lot. They will activate elevators or even doors. I mean, aren't we lucky we actually got that, uh, you know, the whole thing, the grip, the grip thingamajig from that woman at the start. Oh, there's one to the right of me as well. Oh, will you die? Okay, let's take care of you first. Uh, I don't think he's dead. Nope. Oh, bullshit. Get the hell out of here, dude. What? Why is this all missing? Dodge the tail. Okay. Well, that was a lot harder than it needed to be. More stasis. Bring this over. What? <sighs> Asshole. Scared the shit out of me. I wonder why this is a thing, these fuse boxes. Why they want you to shoot them. I'm not gonna use ammo on this shit. Come on. There we go, Isaac. Uh, that sound was pretty weird. I guess it was just the body still flipping the shit. I really like these vacuum sections actually. They completely take out all the noise from outside of the suit and all you can hear is what Isaac would be hearing. Makes for a really cool aesthetic. The only problem is often when you enter zero G they won't there won't be any air as well. Actually, is this zero G? I, I guess it is. Yeah, yeah, it is. As you know, the Ishimura is able to set his gravity locally. Your grab boots will kick in when you enter a zero-G area. 
grab boots. Gravity boots should activate the gravity control panel. I should use the caution. I don't trust bodies. Never trust a body. You know, I remember doing this shit in 2008 and being really mind blown about, you know, the whole local zero G thing. I don't think I'd played any game where you had this kind of thing. Back then, at least. I could have swore I heard something. I do know there's a trap coming up since I did play this game again to unlock the impossible difficulty. So that's what we're gonna do. Exiting zero gravity. We're gonna make a trap of her own. We get the defibrillator. Right now. Great. You got a shot pad. Combine that with the thermite at the barricade to destroy it. Shit. I can hear more coming. Moving through the vents. Stay safe, Isaac. That is something we never do in this game. Move through vents. Entering zero gravity. Greetings. There's one down. And there's two. As you can see, these explosive canisters these explosive canisters do not fuck around. You can just destroy the necromorphs of them. This room is so weird. Like, why is there a solo, you know, room over there doing fuck all? Just to have a shock pad? Ah, whatever. I do best. Let's go back. Let's move back through the zero G area. Exiting zero gravity. Yeah, I saw that shadow. You don't fool me. Any more items to plunder? I guess not. Oh boy. I do wonder if we're gonna get ambushed again. Looks like we're not yet. Yeah, I saw that. <laughs> fuck, get the fuck out of here. You could clearly see his face in the vent there. Ooh, ammo. Looks like our inventory is full. I could use a health kit, but I am really, really stingy. Come on. Dude, he should be dead already. I think when they're coming out of vents and you keep shooting them, they have like invincibility frames. Drop shit. Feels bad, dude. We are going to upgrade our health so I don't have to use a health kit. Because when you upgrade health, you get your health back. See? There you go. Uh, 
Oh, uh, that's not creepy at all. These are, if I recall, swarmers. And, you know, having one of, or two of them on you isn't going to be that bad, but as soon as there are more, more than one, they start to pick your health apart really quick. And there's still one left. Oh, there's two. I should honestly use my machine gun for this. I'm a dumbass. I heard that. Must have been my imagination. Anyways, time to visit the store. Because I want to get rid of all this useless crap. I mean, there's no reason to keep it home. Well, let's have another save. Great! Now, let's clear this debris, shall we? That worked, that worked quickly. Okay, you're through. Should be clear from there to the morgue. Remember, the codes are on the captain's body. Yes, I do remember. This is Senior Medical Officer Nicole Brennan transmitting ship wide. We need more help. We don't have the resources to deal with this many cases. Nobody would tell us what's happening. These wounds, we are not equipped to deal with this. God. Get up to the table. Hold him. Nurse, you hold him down. Christ. Every corner. That was Nicole, right? I can't tell from here when that log was made. I'm sure she's around here somewhere. Well, she didn't seem like she was having too much fun. Someone is still throwing around spanners. Ah, line racks. There's actually... The reason I bought the, the line gun was actually because I, uh... Yes, yes, I know, you're mad. The reason why I bought that gun is because the ammo is worth a lot of gold, a lot of credits, really. So most of the time when I have too many line racks, I'll just be selling them to get the big bucks. Ah, oh, I forgot to reload. Now, it's actually... I keep shooting these tendrils they have, but honestly, once you upgrade the machine gun or the pulse rifle, you can just start blasting them in the face, and they'll just die almost instantly. And it'll it'll use like 20 ammo or something, and they'll they'll die. Oh, you're still alive. There we go. He shot off like a fucking rocket, dude. Yes. Time to explore the... What is it? Is, it? is this like the operation quarter? I guess so. It looks like it at least. Or the sick bay. <laughs> Some credits, I'll take them. And more line racks. That is wonderful. That is quite the haul. Got some scans here. Ah, oh, boxes. And a power saw, which we need to continue on. Aw oh, man, I thought I could throw it in there. That would have been cool. Isaac should yell Kobe when he does it. Some overly dramatic music. Oh, we we fucked him up. Ah, never mind. He's still alive. And this is one of those female slashers. 
<laughs> and that's the power of the line gun. Holy fuck. It's so good. I heard you. Yeah. Oh, what? I knew it was still alive, but I didn't think he'd recover that fast. You know, I wonder why there's half Necromars. Does that mean they've already fought someone? I mean, it could be. We got Lime Max schematic. Definitely worth it. That means we can buy line gun ammo in the store now. Although I do think, even if you don't come in here, the store actually unlocks it anyway after a while. I mean, imagine if you can't buy any ammo the entire game. At least, you know, line gun ammo. That would be kind of weird, right? There's a good reason why I'm stomping the bodies. Stomping the bodies can actually give you more ammo back. Uh... Hello? Can anybody hear me? My name is Eileen Fisk. I just woke up in here and everybody was gone. I don't know what's happening. Why did they all leave? I'm going to try and find someone. If you can hear this, please come for me. I can hear scratching in the wall. Hello? Who's there? Are, are you a doctor? Why is everyone... Wait, I know you. You're Harris, the prisoner from the colony. You killed that nurse. Help! Somebody help me! Please! Please! That's actually the second time we've been hearing about someone from the colony. You know, the guy earlier. <laughs> was also talking about him in the lock, so maybe we're talking about the same guy. Uh, his body was kind of stiff. We cannot pick that up from here. Alright. Surprise, motherfucker! Wow, we stopped that guy in the middle of his uh, jumping attack. I am quite happy. And we got super lucky that guy got stuck on his other friend. We got super, super lucky that fight. That was quite the trap. Alright. Let's see what this log is. Oh, it's just a log of people who were born. <laughs> Feels kind of weird knowing we probably killed a few of those already. Newborn? More like new dead! Ah. Alright, let's continue on to the morgue. <coughs> Hello. Uh, which way is the morgue? No, no, no. Hold on. Uh, I will never know. Yes, you keep on gargling on your own blood. It's fine. Wow. This place got fucked up, dude. There's even a few pods broken. Ah, uh, here's the more... Alright, I'm no longer gonna read these logs. You can just pause the game and read them at your own leisure. Let me make a. Uh science log, Chief Science Officer Dr. Kine reporting. The colony's problems concern me greatly. I have no doubt they are somehow linked to the discovery of the marker, but the exact nature of that connection is still unknown. Almost 40% of the colonists are experiencing a form of dementia. 
The obvious symptoms are acute depression, insomnia, and hallucination. Incidents of violence and even murder also indicate extreme paranoia. Dr. Mercer has advised that I bring some of the affected on board for study. Dr. Wellen, the planet-side psychiatrist, has reported that his own analysis has been fruitless. I'm hesitant to rely on Dr. Mercer at this point, but I need his expertise. We need solutions, and we need them quickly. Ah, yes, Dr. Mercer. He's the guy we've been hearing freaking uh, and flipping his shit earlier. Come to me. <laughs> that gun just fucking destroys him. Hey, so that's why we can open the green containers, but not the red ones. They just haven't been inspected yet. Okay. I mean, we're still stomping them, so we should be able to open the red ones as well, but sure. This place looks exciting. Now... I am a super meta gamer and I know what's coming up and let me just point out that you really want to take care of the bodies here ASAP hello there mr. head how are you now if you don't mind I still have a job to do namely getting rid of these oh. bodies because we are going to be introduced to a new Mr. Bad Guy. And Mr. Bad Guy is quite the fucked up Mr. Bad Guy. He is a new type of necromorph which feasts on dead bodies. He is what we know as the Infector. And there he is. And that is probably Captain Benjamin. That's being horribly mutilated. So that is what happens to people who get hit by an infector. They turn into super necromorphs. In this case, a super slasher. And super slashers do not kill around, as you can see from me shooting him a shit ton and him not dying. He is still alive. Uh, okay. Oh, there we go. He's dead now, but... Seriously, fuck these guys. We got the captain's rig. Codes received, and they look good. Thank God. I'll start accessing the captain's records right now. Head to the tram station, and I'll contact you there. I'm going to find out what the hell happened to this ship. Ah, uh, there's uh, another text log here. So it looks like uh, uh, the captain really is completely dead. Uh, ooh, power node. Some healing stuff for Reno. Some gibberish. And this is actually a cheat code. 
or at least uh, a part of the cheat code. There's going to be a shit ton of them. But on PC, it likes bugging out. Normally, when you shine your flashlight on the arrows, it should turn green, but it actually doesn't. Or it does very slightly on the PC. On Xbox, it's really obvious. As if you completely find that cheat, you actually get 10 power nodes. Now, with our new information about having learned about how fucked up infectors are, we are going to take extreme precautions. Namely, we're going to be stomping nearly all the bodies we see. There's no use stomping necromorphs since they can't be re- you know, morphed, but all these humanoids, they need to die again, or at least their corpse need mutilation. Alright, uh, he was just standing there, <laughs> that was kind of weird. As you can see, these guys take a lot of, take a lot of shots to kill. However, that is also the reason why I'm upgrading this weapon right now. Or why I will be upgrading. Isaac. Somehow one of them found a way down to the captain's nest. I managed to contain it in a damaged escape pod. Lifting executive lockdown now. I found the deck logs. Whatever is happening around here, it came from the planet when they cracked it open. It spread to the colony and reached the ship. Isaac. This isn't an infection. It's some form of alien life. <laughs> Shit, we've got bigger problems. The ship's engines are offline and our orbit is decaying. Get over to the engineering deck ASAP while I stay here and figure out what the problem is. Uh... Alright. I guess we could trust Hammond. He seems to be the cool kid. Where the fuck is Kendra though? We haven't heard her in a while. Uh, he's fucking ragdoll, but hey, wait a second. Was there more? Was there more bodies? What happened to the bodies? Hold on, right now. So, oh, that's crap. All right. Well, that should be enough for today. Thank you for watching. And uh, hey, that's the second chapter we did without dying. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you guys next time.